today. Today I'm going to be doing a Will I Buy It. I have done one of these before and I really really enjoy them. I also especially like watching Samantha Marches who is the creator of the series and I also religiously watch, I can never say her name, Angelica Nyquist? I'm sorry. Anyway, I highly recommend you also check out their Will I Buy It series as well as their channels. There's not really that much to say. I'm going to tell you whether I think I would buy these products. So you know the drill. Hit that little red button down below, click subscribe and like this video if you enjoy it and let's get started. Um, I need to shuffle over to this way so that I can put photos up that way. Always feels very weird. Also, I'm wearing the iconic Kathleen Lights collab in point zero if you're wondering what this lipstick color is potentially and there's a get ready with me at some point coming on my channel with this blue thing that's on my face okay I just had a quick squiz through trend mood because where else would you look and I'm going to talk about some items <laughs> I'm so lame okay I'm just gonna go in order of screenshots there's an NCLA Los Angeles Barbie collection um the packaging on this is a Adorable. Sorry, also ignore the hideousness that is my phone. I'm looking to get a new one and hopefully I'll get a nice case when that happens. What does she say? So collaboration with NCLA Beauty and Barbie. It has four nail polishes, two jelly balms, four nail wraps, cuticle oil treatment, and two lipsticks. I don't think I'd pick up any of it to be perfectly honest, but I can really appreciate it. Actually, the one thing I'd possibly consider is getting the cuticle oil treatment, which is in So Rich and Bubblegum Pop, because my nails are disgusting and I use cuticle oil to attempt to fix it, but they're still kind of screwed. I think it's a really cute collab, but I don't even know where you get NCLA from, but yeah, I think it's cute. What was the next thing? These palettes are stunning. This is from a brand that I haven't, well I've kind of heard of them, which is Bombshell Cosmetics. And this is their holiday collection. These palettes look yum. Oh, that's so cute. So you've got Caramelized, Sour Blast, and Oh Hubba Hubba. And their photos that they've done are adorable. That like Whoever did the imagery for that was so smart with the way that they photo photographed them. So the palette that I'm liking look the most of, I think is, I can't tell exactly, but I think it's the caramelized one, maybe? I can't tell which, which item is which, but actually make more sense. Maybe it's the Sour Blast. Anyway, it's the one that has, it's almost a rainbow palette, but it's slightly unique because it's got a really dark green, but then the blues are really pale and then the yellows is neon. And then it's got the orange and pink, so I guess it is a rainbow palette. It doesn't look like a typical rainbow palette though, and it looks stunning. What does it say? It's available 23rd of November online. How much is it? It doesn't say how much it is, I don't think. But I love the look of this. I would seriously, if I could get my hands on it, I would probably purchase it. It depends on the price, but I think it's beautiful. The other two are also really nice. You've got a warm palette, which actually is a really unique. It looks like a navy blue. And then there's the other palette, which has, it's still pretty cool. It's got some really pale purples, some pale oranges. It's got a really nice color palette scheme to it. Um, okay, I'm going to talk about the ColourPop Cosmetics Christmas Collection. I have just done a massive ColourPop order, and you will see it as a haul some point on my channel. I cannot buy any more ColourPop for a little while. I just went a little tiny bit crazy. However, I wish this was online. So for a start, you have all of these lippies, which I think come in a kit. I don't know, I can't, there's too many things, it's too confusing. But there's essentially a ton of beautiful, they might be glosses and lipsticks, and um, the rainbow in them is stunning. like. I, I kind of like I wish it was one of those things where I want all of them just to have them all and have that beautiful collection I don't know I can't choose I want them all I won't be getting them all but I want them all then there are the glitterly obsessed which look cute but I really free and frequently use my glitters so probably wouldn't be worthwhile I wouldn't mind trying those jelly eyeshadows at some point I love this packaging for the lippy sticks I don't need any more I have too many of those 
Okay, this palette. It looks so cool, but then if you look at the shades really closely, it's actually kind of a neutral palette with a couple like interesting pops. Perfect row of pinks and purples. And you've got that teal and then you've got that gold and then you've got all those neutrals. Mm, it's beautiful. Really beautiful. Like seriously beautiful. It's a massive collection though to release for Christmas. It doesn't really feel that Christmassy. It doesn't really matter. Colourpop releases so many collections. How can it possibly be Christmassy? BH Cosmetics has just released a new palette which is the Zodiac palette. And this is the Love Signs version. So what I don't know is whether this is smaller than the last one or whether it is the same size with different shades. I wouldn't pick it up because it doesn't have enough unique shades for me, though there's a blue which looks really cool. Overall, I also like, I think it's smart having a matte with a shimmer, but I don't really use bake eye baked eyeshadows, so I don't think it would work for me, but I can actually see you being able to get a really nice range of interesting looks from this palette. Also, I like the packaging, but it kind of drives me mental because it's so big. If you're into Zodiac and you are a neutral lover that wants a couple pops of color, you might be really, really interested in this. Next thing I'm going to talk about. Oh, that sounded so like, anyway, doesn't matter. The Too Faced Pretty Rich Collection. Hmm, I've heard mixed opinions on this. Some people really want to get this eyeshadow palette because it apparently has some new formulas in it. Not, yeah, new formula? Like, yeah, new shimmers in it. Ah, I keep on swiping off it. Personally, it really just doesn't do it for me, that palette. I think the packaging is cute, it's a nice idea, but there's nothing interesting enough in that palette for me to want to get it. It's more of, it's like a neutral palette with some probably really pretty shimmers. Those highlighters look great, but Too Faced doesn't have sensitive skin friendly products. I hate that mask glow job. Why? Why? So overall, I can't see me picking up anything from that collection. Also, I hate, I understand why they've done it, but I hate that they have four pans that have like a beveled edge. I'm assuming it's because they're the different formula, but doesn't look satisfying. <laughs> Keeps all the pans the same size. Oh, Tarte Cosmetics is releasing a new palette. When I first saw this, I was like, yes, I want that eye... Do I, have any... Do I have any Tarte eyeshadows? I don't have any Tarte eyeshadows, so I don't think I can talk about the formula, but I have a lot of their other products. So I almost picked up the Tardis Pro full-size eyeshadow palette. I have their contour one, and I didn't end up picking it up. I've been wanting it for ages, and suddenly, you know, it's gotten to a point where I'm like, mm, don't really want it anymore. And I saw this, and if you look at it really quickly, it looks like there are so many brilliant, beautiful colors in it that it looks like a really fun, colorful palette, right? Especially the swatches. When you look at those swatches, my eyes instantly drawn to those, like that yellow, the purple, the green, the etc. And it looks amazing. But when I look at it in palette form, it's more underwhelming. It's awesome for Tarte to finally be doing something with a bit of color, and I think it's nice that they're changing it up, but it's also kind of within their realm of design of products. The swatches get me really interested. Looking at the palette, I'm not so interested. I also heard that it's mostly shimmers and very few mattes, and that's a dead no for me. I need mattes, I love mattes, I use mattes more than shimmers. What is next? Ah, the James Charles Morphe palette. He did a second video after he talked about the release, which was using it was four, five, six makeup artists using his palette doing creative looks. This is a segue, by the way. That marketing, he knows marketing, he knows how to run a business, and that marketing is so smart, getting other people to do looks on his channel that give a good review. That's not him giving a good review, and it's not people, it's other people that people trust, but it's not those big YouTubers doing the review. I don't know if that makes any sense, but that marketing is so smart. I watched that video, I enjoyed it. It was really interesting seeing a bunch of different people, skin tones, genders, everything, using that one palette to create different looks. Smart, very smart. The palette has me interested. I'm not sure I'm going to get it. I own one Morphe palette, which is one of their older ones. It's the 35P, I think, and I really don't love the eyeshadow quality. In saying that, that's one of their really old palettes, and I've heard that the formulas are getting better and better and better. I love color. When I buy looks, when I buy palettes, when I buy looks, when I buy palettes at the moment, I'm tending to buy colorful eyeshadows, not neutral. I think there are 
you'll disagree, but I'm, in my head, there are only so many neutral palettes you can have, and I already have more than that. Way more than that. So, the brush kit, no way. It's for makeup artists, it's not, me, not meant for me anyway. All of those colourful shades have me super interested because there's a really nice gradient within these colour tones, but there's also a ton of neutrals. And I think this would be a palette where if you traveled a lot, it would be perfect. But I don't travel that much and I agree with both Samantha and Angelica when they say that they don't use their big palettes as much because they go at the back of the drawer for me, which is why I think I've used that Morphe palette twice that I own. And all the palettes that I use more frequently are indeed slightly smaller ones. It's also meant to be... how much is it? From memory, it's actually also slightly more expensive than the typical Morphe palettes. I think it's $39, which means in Australia it's probably going to be around $60 or $70. And I'm just not sure I'd spend that much on a Morphe palette. Well, I think it's a really smart release. I'm sure he's going to do incredibly well for it, and it makes a lot of sense for him. I'm going to talk about the Makeup Geek. I think it's their, yeah, their Holidays collection. So Marlene has done some interesting things recently, just in general with her channel and the new clothing line. And I feel like the way that she's dealing with her brand and everything is changing quite a lot at the moment so I'm intrigued to see where that's going to go. I've heard that they've redone a lot of their single shades which I'm so gutted about. I feel like she's going to have gotten rid of a lot of the colours and kept a lot of the neutrals which I'm not necessarily here for. However, she has released a palette, some lashes and a healing lip glaze trio. What do you mean by healing? Mm, and a sponge. I don't know what she means by healing. I like lipsticks, I like lip glosses, I don't need any more. Those lashes have me intrigued. If I saw those on Beauty Bay sometime soon when I'm there, I didn't know she did lashes, I'd probably pick up some of them to try them. That palette, talking about neutrals, I'm not going to get it, but in saying that, it's a really interesting neutrals palette. I like the packaging. It's nice and classy, black with a tiny bit of shimmer. Then that palette, it's almost, it's like jewel tone. It's got a gunmetal black, it's got that beautiful green shade, and it's some more warm toned mattes. It seems like if you like neutrals or something with like a neutral slightly different, you would love this palette. The formula is great. I actually think it's a really beautiful palette. I what is next? The Kristen Dominique, well, it's Dominique Cosmetics, but it's Kristen Dominique's brand. She's just released the Berries and Cream palette. Oh, and there's some lipsticks there. All oh, those lipsticks look pretty. I like that packaging. Okay, I'm not sure people will agree with me on this. I don't like that she's changed the pan shape. I like, I just... I don't, I don't like the beveled edge pan. I feel, I think because it's like the architectural lines, I like them to be more like straight, square, circular, whereas this is just kind of, feels old fashioned to me. However, I'm sure a lot of people won't agree with it and it's a nice detail. Just for me, I don't like it as much. I do like that she's carried those beveled edges onto the mirror though. It's a really cohesive design. It's just not my personal style. Really doesn't make a difference anyway. The palette looks pretty. It is a warm tone palette. There are a ton of warm tone palettes out at the moment. It also has that navy blue and pinky purple. So it's a warm palette with a couple differences. Yeah, there are a couple shades which I think are really pretty and really interesting, but I wouldn't need the whole palette for it. And saying that, I've heard great things about her first palette formula. So if she potentially releases something that's more colorful, I'd consider picking it up. This one I don't think is for me though. Who was I watching? I think it's Nicole Renee and she was wanted, literally a lot of people, they wanted a wine palette and I think that would have made more sense. I like the drinks theme rather than edibles theme. The Patrick Star MAC collection. People might disagree with me, but I don't love that he's done so many collections with MAC. I think it would have been really nice to do one or two and then leave it, but I think they're up to like four or five now and I just think that's too much. It's oversaturating that one collab. I just don't think it's as special as that first collection where it was so exciting that they were collabing. He's super talented and it's amazing and I'm sure it will do really well. My thoughts on the actual collection. There is a pretty palette. There's a dark green and some neutrals. There are some pigments, which if I saw those pigments, I would consider getting them. The, I don't need any more lipstick, though that brown one looks really pretty in that packaging. <laughs> that packaging. I'm trying to force myself to stop buying lip products though, which is going okay-ish. And there's a gloss that would catch my eye that I'm also going to try to stop myself from getting. It's a really, really nice collection. I'm sure a lot of people go crazy for that highlighter too. The highlighter looks beautiful. I could end up picking up those pigments. You never know. 
What else? Oh, I didn't screenshot this earlier, but I'm going to screenshot it now. Zoeva has brought out their holiday collection, which is called Spice of Life. This is such a holiday collection. It gives me that... Like maybe not in, New Ze not in New Zealand, I don't live in New Zealand, maybe not in Australia, but it's got that really wintry, warm vibe to me. The packaging, the, oh, everything, beautiful. And the fact that they've done a mini palette is so smart. Talking about the mini palette, we'll start there. I think the shadows they've chosen out of the large palette are the perfect shadows to choose. They've chosen enough that you can make a full look, but they've also taken out those the more interesting colours. They're, I don't know what that is, it's almost, it looks like a green gold duochrome, which looks stunning. And then there are some coppers and some burgundies and it looks really, really beautiful if somehow you don't have a warm palette at the moment. Zoeva quality, I really like the Zoeva quality. If you don't have any warm tone shadows right now, you couldn't go wrong with this. And especially that mini palette. If I saw that mini palette in person, I'd consider it. Definitely consider it. What else is it? Oh, I missed over this. Laura Lee Los Angeles has released a holiday collection. Ignoring all Laura Lee controversies aside, I think it's interesting. I felt in her video she was trying really hard to sell the products, which I don't love being sold to, especially when it's so apparent. The way that she's talking about all those details and all those things. Every Most collabs that are happening, the influencer or the people that influence their own brands, they're thought about those details. That's just what it is to be a businessman. You think about those details if you're going to do a good product. So I didn't really like her selling me on all of those little details she's put in and how they've done a plastic insert, insert instead of a foam insert so you can reuse the box. No one needs to reuse boxes. Why do brands keep on selling things as being reusable? There's only so many reusable trinkets you can have around one house. That's just how I feel. You don't have to agree with me. In saying that, the palette's really interesting. I think she've cho she's chosen, smart that she did the six palette, she's chosen some interesting shades to go into that six pan that aren't boring. Shimmery purple is really pretty. There's kind of that really warm coral, yeah, really warm raspberry red, which you don't actually see that frequently in other palettes either. I think that the two shimmers are possibly, they're different, but they, Given it's six pounds, she possibly could have changed out one of those shimmers to be different. And then there's that really pretty green gold. Photos from the video look very different to the flash swatch photos. And I prefer the way that it looks in the video. I also like the packaging. I like that she's kept a theme. I'm still more interested in, I think it was the Party Animal palette, though didn't get great reviews. Um, ah, I'm excited to talk about this. So, Certify has released another palette. This is the... Which palette is it? What's it called? Tell me what it's called. The Affinity palette. There we go. So, Certify has some of the palettes that I want to pick up the absolute most. The only reason I haven't yet is because of shipping. Um, their color stories and their colorful palettes are just so special. I actually really like the um, vertical portrait. Yeah, portrait. The portrait format is a bit different. They're just stunning, absolutely stunning. I don't know if I'd pick this, which one, I don't know which one of their palettes I'd pick up. I want all of them, but I don't need all of them. This is definitely in the running for one of the ones I'd pick up. It has got it's yellow, orange, purple, and pink, and they all go so well together as a format. And there's so many different shades of each of these colors that you could actually build so many really interesting looks. I think this is an all matte palette. Yes, from memory, it's an all matte palette. For my first palette from them, I'd probably pick up mattes and shimmers just because I want to have that range of formula. Oh, I've got my eye on this palette. It's so beautiful. Is there anything else I want to talk about? Ah, I knew I missed one. Okay, this is the last thing I'm going to talk about so I don't give myself a nightmare when editing. Dose of Colors has done a collaboration with Mickey Mouse for the 90th birthday. Who else is doing a collaboration? There's another brand. But I can't remember which brand it is. The palette, I understand why they've done it, but I don't, like I would, I would never pick that up. It's, the packaging's cute, it's a, it's a nice overall scheme, but it's a neutral warm tone palette, which I don't need. I'm sure it will sell well, they've got a highlighter in it. The highlighter looks really pretty, but I just don't need it. 
those are they lipsticks i think those are lipsticks now those look really interesting again i'm not trying to buy lipsticks the two lighter shades in that especially with that really rectangular tip have me interested Hmm. i also love the packaging of i think it's a liquid lipsticks and glosses again i'm still trying not to pick up lipsticks or lip products but depending on the cost the more pricey and how i'm feeling at the time if they were online when i next had a look I would consider buying probably the middle shade, that middle lighter colour. It looks like a slightly more unique brown shade and I've heard the formula is absolutely amazing. What did I say I'm probably going to get? I... ow, my legs. <laughs> Things that I'm really interested in picking up are the... That first one, the first palette from Bombshell Cosmetics. The Certify, definitely picking up something from Certify. And then... I'd be interested in the James Charles palette and there are some potential lipstick purchases on oh, those pigments. So, my camera just stopped recording which is good timing because it's time I shut up. I hope you really enjoyed this will I buy it. I'm sure I was probably looking here and looking down at my phone the whole time. I'm hoping that's not too annoying but either way let me know if you want any of these products. I know that I'm quite harsh with what I say I'm going to pick up. It just is what it is. I hope you really enjoyed this video. Please do let me know down below what you're going to pick up and what you're really interested in. I hope you really enjoyed this video. Give it a like if you did because it really helps me out. And I'll talk to you later. See ya. NCLA Los Angeles Los... That's a really good start. Gonna have gotten rid of a little... Yeah. I'd also be tempted, there looks like there are some, are they pigment? Mm -mm 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 -mm. That's really annoying, I hate myself. So, 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 so beautiful. Um, um, gives me a more likely look. Mm -hmm. Eh, I did it again, I swiped wrong. I swiped right. <laughs> no, I swiped left. I think I just need to like nap and sleep for like the next three weeks, potentially.